We're against birth control, which is why we have such big families around here, you know. That's why we have all these pregnant women, praise the Lord, because we're against birth control. You say, oh, we're against birth control? You know, me, these are things that maybe I should preach more often and things that, you know, I preached a lot about them in the early days and maybe don't bring them up a lot. But look, at Barry Baptist Church, we're against birth control. You say, why? Well, are you there in Isaiah chapter 7? Look at verse 14. Isaiah 7, 14 says this, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin, this is a prophecy of Jesus, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Now, this is a famous verse where Isaiah is writing a prophecy of Jesus. He says, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Now, this is fulfilled. Basically, it's repeated in Matthew. Now, I want you to notice this, these words. A virgin shall conceive, all right? A virgin shall conceive. Go to Matthew chapter 1 and look at verse number 23. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 23. Notice how the same verse is quoted in the book of Matthew. Matthew 1.23 says this, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted as God with us. Isaiah 7.14 said, A virgin shall conceive. Matthew 1.23 says, A virgin shall be with child. You say, is that a mistake, a contradiction? No. You know, when you compare Scripture with Scripture, you allow the Bible to define itself. What is the Bible telling us here? The Bible is telling us that when a child, when, when, a, when a couple conceives, that thing that's conceived in the eyes of God is a child. So it's not, because today they tell you, no, no, it's a blob, it's, 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 some, it's an embryo, it's something different, becomes a human later. No, 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 that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says it's a person, it's a child, it's a human being from conception. You say, well, what does that have to do with birth control? Look, we're against birth control for the same reason we're against abortion. Because when it's a child is conceived, once a child is conceived, they're a person. They're a human. Once there's conception, it's a child. Let me read for you an article just real quickly from WebMD. All right? I'm telling you where I'm reading it from because I want you to notice I'm not getting this from some fundamentalist website. All right? This is just WebMD, uh, an article entitled, entitled, How Does Hormonal Contraception Work? A woman becomes pregnant when an egg released from her ovary, the organ that holds her egg, is fertilized by a man's seed. The fertilized egg attaches to the inside of a woman's womb, that's her uterus, where it receives nourishment and develops into a baby. Now, that's their wording, not my wording, all right? We don't believe it develops into a baby. We believe it is a baby, but that's what they said. Hormones in the woman's body control the release of the egg from the ovary called ovulation and prepare the body to accept the fertilized egg. Hormone contraceptives, talking about things like the pill, the patch, the ring, all contain, this is explained to you how birth control works, all right? They all contain a small amount of man-made estrogen and progestin hormones. Here's, there, there's basically three ways that it works. Here's number one. These hormones work to inhibit the body's natural cyclical hormones to prevent pregnancy. So one thing they do is they mess with your hormones in order to keep a woman from releasing an egg so if there's no leg to be fertilized, there's no conception, no baby. It says the, hormone, the hormonal contraceptive usually stops the body from ovulating. They say it, it stops it from ovulating. It stops it from releasing an egg 40 to 95% of the time. The other 5 to 60% of the time, an egg is released and can be fertilized. All right? So it's got three steps to keep someone from getting pregnant. Step, step one is to try to keep the body through messing with your hormones from releasing an egg. Because if the ovary doesn't release an egg, there's no con uh, fertilization, there's no conception, no pregnancy. If that doesn't work, because that only works 40 to 95% of the time, then the second way it tries to keep someone from getting pregnant is, number two, hormonal contraceptives also change the cervical mucus to make it difficult for the seed to go through the cervix and find an egg, all right? So that it makes, it creates this mucus <laughs> to, keep, to basically keep conception from happening so that the seed doesn't ever make it to the egg. 
But in case that doesn't work, here's step three. Hormonal contraceptives can also prevent pregnancy by changing the lining of the womb so it's unlikely the fertilized egg will be implanted. Now, here's the problem. What if the egg is fertilized? What if there's conception? According to the Bible, it's a child. Here's step three for the uh, you know, birth control methods using the pill and things like that is that it basically prevents the fertilized egg, the conceived egg, which is a child, from implanting. It prevents the pregnancy by changing the lining of the womb so it's unlikely that the fertilized egg will be implanted. Here's the problem with that. That fertilized egg is already conceived. It's already a child. It's already alive. And it needs to, it needs to implant in order to receive nutrition. That's where it eventually gets the umbilical cord, and that's how it's fed. Literally, if step one of keeping the egg from, you know, um, from being released doesn't work, and if step two from keeping the seed of the man from reaching the egg doesn't work, and, and you end up with conception, then step three is kill it. Starve it to death. Don't allow it to implant and get any nourishment. No, so listen to me. If you are on birth control and you're having a physical relationship with your spouse, you know, 5 to 60% of the time, there's a chance there that you're killing a child. Because a virgin shall conceive, a virgin shall be with child. As soon as there's conception, it's a child. So look, if you're against abortions, you ought to be against birth control. And if you say, well, I'm against abortions, but I'm not against birth control, you're a hypocrite. Because you're doing the same thing. You're taking a child that's already alive, already born, already have a soul, already a, uh, an individual in the eyes of God, and you're killing it. And this is something that our IFB movement believes, something that we've taught and preached from the beginning. That's why you go to our types of churches, you got six kids and five kids. That's why you got seven ladies right now in our church pregnant. You know, we're gonna, I say this all the time, we're going to grow this church one way or another. You know, we're going to reach people or we're going to make people. And, or we're going to do both. We're going to reach the ones we make, and I don't know what else we're going to do. We're just going to reach them. 